Do you ever find yourself in games like these? Does that make you want to do this? Well then you are in the right place because ladies and gentlemen today we are covering 5 more awful playstyles in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Now a few weeks ago I put out a list of my top 5 least favorite playstyles and naturally you all responded with lots of comments detailing all of the players I missed. So today I dug through all of your comments and chose 5 more playstyles you all think are filthy enough to get a shout out. So if you haven't seen the original video go check that one out I'll put a link to it in the description but otherwise the 5 new horrible playstyles we covered today will be in no particular order. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I have a challenge for you. Alright, enough intro, let's jump into playstyle number one. So, kicking things off here with our number one spot, we have the Swarm Spammers. Ah yes, the Swarm characters, the very last characters to be introduced into Battle for Nearville. Now what makes TV Head and Wildflower extremely annoying is when your opponent does nothing but hide behind corners and spam their explosive drone ability. The Dandelion and Yeti Imp Assault comes flying at you with full force only to drop a whopping 125 damage in an instant. This is enough to one shot plenty of characters outright and it's particularly annoying because the enemy doesn't have to be near you to kill you. Not to mention, stack right upgrades and you can get these little dynamite minions to refresh surprisingly fast. Overall this playstyle is perfect for the hidey hole corner campers who don't feel like shooting and who would rather kill their foes in a poof of rage. So speaking of camping and drones, in our number 2 spot we have the drone campers. These players sit in the back of the map as deadbeard or cactus and do nothing but use their garlic or parrot drones. It's an overwhelmingly cowardly way to play the game, and to be quite honest, getting shot from above by a tiny little drone is no fun. Especially when it happens over and over and over, because that's all these players use. Now, for some characters, it's easy to shoot down the drones, but that's not always the case, and not everyone has as good of a name as you do, my dear BFM bro. Now, it would seem that a lot of you really dislike Nightcap. Especially nightcaps that spam their Fung Fu and Shadow Sneak abilities, which is why in our third spot on this list we have the annoying nightcap. Now, and I would agree, you know, this is a real cheesy strategy to just use Shadow Sneak, run up to your enemy, Fung Fu them to death, and then Shadow Sneak away, but I'm beginning to get a real sense for what qualifies a playstyle in these lists. It would seem that if you run away from engagements or spam, Pretty much anything that will make you unanimously hated by the community. I wish we could put just Petition Popcap to reduce the sprint speed and lengthen the cooldowns on the abilities. Now, I know that won't happen, because they're not updating the game, but we can all have our little fantasy worlds, can't we? Now the fourth entry in today's awful character playstyle list is the Twin Sunflowers. Now I think this entry can actually go both ways, now two sunflowers constantly healing each other is undeniably annoying and every time I run into a pair like this I just have to roll my eyes. Now unlike the scientist which has to heal by shooting his gun, the sunflowers can easily heal, shoot, and move fast all at the same time, proving to be a very lethal combo. However, I would also comment that a healer who doesn't heal or revive any teammates is equally annoying, but to their own team. Moral of the story, don't heal too much, but also don't heal too little. The final entry on this list goes to the Giddy Park Gnome Warriors. Now, if you weren't aware, you can actually get a damage boost in Giddy Park by dancing on all of these icons scattered across the ground. Now, this is a pretty sizable increase in damage, and there are certain individuals who love to get that gnome power buff and then sit in Giddy Park for hours, just decimating anyone who dares fling themselves in. Hoping to have a relaxing evening in Giddy Park? Maybe take a quaint spin on the merry-go-round? Nope, sorry, but you're dead. And unless you have a really solid squad backing you, there's really nothing you can do about it. 
Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Now, I promised there was a challenge, right? Well, here it is. Now, between last video and this video, we now have 10 awful playstyles. And I want you to go in the comment section below and give me your rankings of these 10 playstyles. Let's see which ones are truly the most hated after all. Anyways, thank you so much. Enjoy the day, and I'll see you next time. This is Psycho Sibs Gaming, signing up.